ancient saying from a race of warriors that have long since passed. This saying states that something can only live as long as the last person who remembers it. People have come to trust memory over history. Memory, like fire, is radiant and immutable, while history serves only those who seek to control it. Those who would douse the flames of memory in order to put out the dangerous fires of truth. Beware these men, for they are dangerous themselves and fools. Their false history is written in the blood of those whom I remember and those who seek the truth. I was first struck by the absence of time and found myself lost within the community, having depended on it completely. As a measure of myself and my work, moving back into the perpetual night, consumes all purpose, indeed, all passion, and will. I come now not to beg you, but to feel the fire and intensity that still burns in you. There is truth here, if that's all you seek, but there is no justice or judgment. For which without truth is just a vast, dead, hollow. Go back, and do not look into the abyss, and do not let the abyss look into you. Awaken the sleep of reason, and fight the monsters both within and without. Here we stand in a position to broker fate and face truth, which deceit has covered up with lies, as a pox and a poison in the very soul of the community. And we are here now because of them. Lies that people told because they could not bear the truth that had been posed against them. You are that memory. It lives within you. If the community were to die now, then only the lies survive us. The thing that would destroy them. The truth they felt that we must never learn is the truth that we will find if we are to go forward now. The body of the community has grown tired and weak for nearly three years as nations have burned in a cold smoldering fire clouded with the thick black smoke of deceit. And if the struggle to continue is too hard or the wish to go back to the past too strong, the community will perish. But if the desire to move on burns brightly enough, Life can resume. It awaits now at the crossroads of life and death for the winds of memory to ignite the righteous flames of truth. Still, it will take time to regain its strength and the truth that we find ourselves looking for today. The truth that was taken from us. The truth which was never meant to be spoken but which now binds us together in dangerous purpose is out there. But this danger may be too close and I fear it may be too late.